Hello, this is Rondamon. Um, a lot of you have been having problems with getting a clear video on your um, video output of some of your equipment. Um, so I'd like to show you how to clean up those videos. It's using a software called Virtual Dub. It's free, you can get it on the internet. Let me bring it up. It's uh, produced by a guy named Avery Lee. And it's for editing AVI video files. Which is what a lot of people use because they're the clearest video files for holding, um, well, for inputting from a camera to a PC through a, um, like a USB adapter, okay? Um, so anyway, I'm going to bring up one of these files and it'll be the last one I did, I think. UFO capture. Okay, this was done using the um, video output of a Yukon Ranger going uh, to a easy cap video USB device that converts it from a uh, video signal to a USB signal for recording on the PC and video and US UFO capture does this it records it that video signal okay so we're gonna go look at this thing and uh, on the bottom you can see the frame frame 18 down here where I'm pointing um, and we'll just step through it Actually, I can just slide it and get to a part where there's something coming through here. It should be around frame 30 because I have a 30 frame uh, delay. And let's take a look at this. Here's, here's a bird that went through the video. And you see how kind of odd it looks each frame? This is the input frame that we're actually, we've opened up the movie in. And this is the output frame. If you want to do something to it, this is what it looks like after you've done your changes using things in Virtual Dub. So we're going to go up to Video, see it up top, click that, select Filters, click Add, go down here and click Deinterlace. De -interlace. You could double click it. And then it gives you the mode, and I use the standard mode it comes set up with. YADIF algorithm and keep the top field and click OK and then click OK. Now look what happens over in the output frame. Did you here's the input frame? Here's how the output frame looks. Look how that's cleared it up. Okay. Now when I step backwards, I can use these little buttons to step back and forth by the frames. Each frame looks totally clear on the output, but the input is still screwed up. That's because the input was made for a television input, not a PC display. That's a basic way of saying it, okay? So see how that cleared it up? Okay, so one of the things I'm gonna do on this video is I just, I only wanna see from about frame 26 before it starts to just before it ends, I want to shorten it up. So I'm, all you have to do is move your move your little slider here to whatever frame you want, frame 26, and select home key. Well, I hit the home key. And when I move that slider away, it leaves a little arrow there. See it down there? And then if I step through this, I, over here I use this little stepper, forward stepper, When it's done, it's at frame 46, so there's 10 frames, basically. I hit the end key over on the PC. And look how it highlights this area. See it? It's got a different color. That's how big your movie's going to be. And I do File, Save Segmented AVI, that's what I select. And it brings up the file name. And I just click, and I usually put VD1 for virtual dub one. I just add that to the file name and hit save. 
and it saves it for me. Now I have a cleaned up version of that video file. Let me do one more. Um, file, open video file, which one also had it? It was uh, on 324, so let me go up to 324, that's the date, and it was at 0829 in the morning. This was a jet that went over, but this works for at night as well. Oh, I want the, let's see, do I have the original? I can't show you unless I have the original, because you won't see the difference right there. Okay, so we're just going to click here and down at the bottom to frame 22 and I'll move it along and look at that jet coming through. See on this one side how it's doubled? That's the interlaced version. And if you look over here on the other side, <laughs> sorry, it's a goofy Microsoft. Anyway, here, um, you see how, look how goofy that jet looks, but here it's cleaned up. That's because I've got video filters. I've got this deinterlace added, okay? You have to add it each time it starts up. It doesn't come up automatically. If I click this off and click OK, it goes back to the original format. This is on the output side, okay? But when you do a, a video, filters, add, well, I can just click it back in because it's already there, and hit OK, it cleans that image up. In Virtual Dub, you can also right click in this window and magnify it. To get a little bit of better picture of it, okay? And in Virtual Dub, you can do video, copy output frame to clipboard, and bring up like paint and do a control V. Oh, let me get in here to paint. Where am I? I lost my little arrow. Control V. And you get and then hit crop to make it that size. And you've got your image saved. You can do a file, save as JPEG. And you can save them. And that way if you want to input it into a um, Oh, another uh, software package that can improve the quality of the vis video, you can, okay? Okay, so that's the little thing, uh, a little blurb on Virtual Dub. Sorry for all the yapping.